a mystery in Pierre has been solved. A person who drowned in the Missouri River decades ago has been identified. Tonight, we're taking a closer look at how investigators cracked the cold case and why it's important to a local family. It was August of 1976 when a man's decomposing body was found in the Missouri River near Pier. Despite investigators' best efforts, the man discovered in the water couldn't be named. He was buried at Pier's Riverside Cemetery as an unknown man. The case always bothered Cheryl Stone. I kept thinking there's got to be somebody looking for this gentleman. Over the years, her mother Gertrude placed flowers on the unknown man's grave. Cheryl later took over tending to the grave. In 2020, then Pier police detective Trevor Swanson took on the cold case. Anytime that you have an individual in your community that has no identification, he has no name, um, he's been put to rest under you know unknown circumstances. I think that we as law enforcement have a duty to try to answer some of those questions. In 2021, the body was exhumed with a permit and samples were collected. In 2022, Swanson remained on the case as a DCI special agent. The DNA profile was compared to results found in genetic genealogy databases. It resulted in a potential match for 39-year-old Stephen Earl Boyce. His last known address was Seattle, Washington. Mr. Boyce was never reported as missing. Um, in part, I assume, due to his somewhat transient lifestyle. Uh, when no one heard from him, they just assumed that he was off living his life somewhere else. The South Dakota Forensic Lab compared the partial fingerprints collected in 1976 with a fingerprint card collected from Boyce in the 1960s. The prints matched. It really is an example of where excellent police work combined with modern technology were able to do miracles. Boyce now has a headstone at Riverside Cemetery with his full name. Putting an end to the mystery is bittersweet. It feels good to know that we're able to finally identify somebody who is you know, previously only known as unknown man uh, and to put a name to this, to give him his name back. But at the same time, uh, you know, what is the elephant in the room is there was a tragedy that led to this investigation. You can, you know, think that uh, maybe this isn't important, but in fact it is. It's a person and he was important. That's why Cheryl will continue caring for his grave. Investigators say there's no evidence of foul play in Boyce's death. They've contacted Boyce's closest living relatives. They requested he remain at Riverside Cemetery.